Welcome back to our mobile home. Today we're starting a huge project because we just got our roof delivered. Mentally, I don't think I'm ready for this job, but it's here and we're gonna get going. We took a lot of thought last week. We started cleaning off this roof. We thought we were gonna do a roof coating by us a couple years. And as soon as we got up there and started cleaning it, we realized that wasn't gonna work out. So we pulled out the old credit card and bought a roof. We had a little trouble deciding the color. We were, we were torn between white and black, so we got gray. <laughs> yeah. It's a light gray roof and it's gonna look really good. It's gonna be a simple roof build, but I just should say right at the beginning here that this might not be like, this isn't how to, this might not be the most proper and best way to do it. We just gotta work with this home and do the best we can with it. So here it goes. One thing I have to do is just test out this ceiling fan. We put this ventilation fan in for our bathroom and something about it has bothered me ever since I installed it. I wanted to keep the roof vent simple, but also like to a minimum. I didn't want it to be huge. So I put a three inch vent pipe out the roof. Now this fan is designed for a four inch duct and you really shouldn't size down on ventilation fans. So going from a four inch to a three inch is not a good idea. And I was just doing it because I feel like I could get away with it. It's not right, it's not proper but it's a very short run, very direct, very little resistance. And I said, maybe I can get away with it. I'm gonna pull an extension cord in here. I'm gonna run it off an inverter in the car. And I'm just gonna directly plug in this fan, which I gotta get put in there. And we're gonna test it out. I wanna see how does it sound? How does it blow? What does it feel like? I wanna make sure we're not gonna regret this because if I have to change that to a four inch pipe, I gotta do that now before the new roof goes on. So the first thing I have to do, is just plug this fan up in here. Okay. And now because of the way this fan gets attached, there's actually a built-in plug on it. And I can plug an extension cord right into there and we'll get the fan turned on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Guys, I hope this works. I really don't feel like redoing this roof. It's not a big deal if I have to, I, I just hope we got some good flow in here and I don't feel like there's any restrictions. So I'm gonna plug this little inverter in here. Well, that test was by no means scientific. When you go through the wrong size duct, for example, this three inch duct, you put more resistance on the motor. So it's gonna make it noisier and you could potentially shorten the life of the motor because you're making it work harder. That being said, these bathroom fans tend to live forever anyway. It's still pretty quiet and I didn't notice any large difference between having it attached or unattached. I went up on the roof and I felt lots of flow. It was blown out very hard. So lots of good flow, of course. It's gonna do the job. It's a tiny bathroom. It's gonna work. It's not proper. I just didn't want those big four inch pipes on the roof because I just think it would look huge and just not normal. I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. There's no point in spending more and redoing it all for such little gain. Now, when I installed that, I had some people telling me that I don't even need a bathroom fan because we have a window. And they said, you know, if you have a window, you don't need one. Again, a lot of people try to correct us with kind of like misguided information. This window is too small to be counted as a bathroom window, even though it opens. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but it was something like a bathroom window needs to be something like three square feet. I believe the opening in order to count where you wouldn't need a bathroom fan. So you can get away with only having a window, but if the window is smaller than the minimum size, then you are required to have ventilation. Now things might be different in mobile homes, but 
I just wanted to point that out as we actually do need that. Some of you guys were right that you can have a window instead of a ventilation fan, but this window is not large enough to count. Not only that, but we prefer to have mechanical ventilation because you don't always remember to open a window or you don't always feel like opening a window like the winter time. So it's easier to just flip a switch on and off when you need it, we like it better. So that's that. So we're gonna ignore the metal for a little while and start with this. We got a huge pile of two by fours that we're gonna use as purlins, which are just strips of wood that we're gonna screw to the roof so that we have something to attach our metal to. So we're deciding to use two by fours instead of the typical one by four because we want a sturdy roof, but also we don't want the screws poking through and into our metal. We have a metal roof up there right now that's just an old flat metal roof. And if we used one by fours, every roofing screw we drove in is gonna hit that metal and it's not guaranteed to poke through the metal. So it can cause two problems. First, we're creating leak points. We'd rather keep as much of the original roof intact as we can because that's an extra barrier of protection. But also, if we were using a one by four, if our screw poked through and pushed against the metal roof but didn't go through it, just pushed it, it could flex the metal up. And then we have the metal kind of bowing up with the nail, the screws holding it up, creating unevenness. I don't want that. It could just make it awkward to try to drive these panels in. You don't, you never want to be hitting metal when you're trying to screw your roof down. It just makes it annoying. So two by fours, 10 foot lengths. I'm going to get up there on the roof and hopefully start screwing them down. That's, that's all we can do. Fur bag. This is gonna have to be moved. I'll get the bottom edge on first. Okay. And then I'll figure out what to do next. You made it. Okay. So here's where we're at. We put down one piece of wood. <laughs> Took a long time, but we got it. I was just kind of nervous about screwing it on. I don't know where I want it, how close to the edge. I can't really feel the trusses too good through the metal, so I, I was just winging it, but there it is. Now we have safety. You know, we're not gonna fall off easy. Now we're gonna carry on, keep pulling up wood. I'm gonna do this bottom row so that we have a slip board. If any of us happens to slip, this is pretty rough, but if we slip, there's something we can catch with our feet. Assuming these are true 10 foot, let's see how long they are. Pretty much, maybe an eighth of an inch too long. So let's try to get one here. I'll get one at the other end and then we'll fill in the middle. Well, it grabbed something. Let me see. I think I'm going to push it out a little bit in the middle. Might be bowing a little bit.
There goes my tape measure. Mm -hmm. See if we're gonna we gotta make sure we're going on track you know we could always adjust yeah so each of these 10 foot two by fours is actually an eighth of an inch too long so they're 10 feet and one eighth inch so as we work down we got a few of them on here those eighths are adding up so now we're starting to carry over too far that my my screws aren't lining up so I'm gonna cut back a little bit of this one right here just to get us back on track so that we're running center on the trusses. I was hoping it would go inside that hole. I missed. Wow. I'm guessing basketball isn't a strong point. No. Uh, you want to grab the screws for me? I'll try to get one on here. So hold it, and I'll go down the other end and line it up. Looks good. What? It's not long enough. Mm -hmm. This house is not 60 feet. This house is longer than 60 feet. By how much? A foot. So we're starting our next row here, but there will be another one here. We just want to buy a longer board first. We're going to stagger. Yeah. So to keep going today, we're just going to start here again. Yeah. This is how bad the roof looks up here. All this old coating is peeling off. This is the spot where Doug pressure washed, and the roof is just so bad. Yeah, this whole seam would have to be repatched and sealed, and the staples are getting loose. Yeah. That truss is not in, on center. Well, you can't expect perfection on these things, you know? Yeah. Didn't grab. Boy, that's really over there. That's not good. I'm not hitting the truss.
that's a tough one. Yeah, we got a big hump in here, don't we? Yeah. That's what we call the old Humpty Dumpty. That's what the old timers call it. <laughs> Are you sure? That's enough for now. Here's what we got done today. That doesn't look straight. Can we not say that? Look straight to me. That's all she wrote. Well guys. I can't, you can't do that when I'm laughing. <laughs> We've made it back home. That's all we're doing for today. I know it doesn't look like big progress, but it's a start and we had to start somewhere. And now it gets the ball rolling. Sometimes it's hard to get it rolling. It's rolling. Unfortunately, we found out that our home was longer than we expected. So, By about a foot. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna adjust the wood and the plan a little bit. We're gonna have to run to the store and get some extra wood, which we'll need to do anyway because we just need more two by fours. Yeah, we undercalculated. I think we were thinking we would only need four rows. We need five. Yeah. So whatever. We're trying to do it as proper as we can. Screws every two feet. With this roof project, even though we are gonna be rolling on it and we do wanna get it done quick, we're not gonna kill ourselves. You know, working on a roof is tough. You're out in the sun. There's risks of getting hurt or falling. So we're gonna take our time. We have, a, we have a lot of projects going on right now. We have a lot of things happening in our life. So we're not looking to overdo it. We're gonna work a little bit and it'll get done. Before you know it, it'll be done. Yeah. And so that's the plan right now. We're just happy to be at this point. I hope I'm doing everything right. I know it's not perfect, but we're looking at an 84 mobile home that's not that great. So mm -hmm. we're not going super high end. We're not gonna do like a hundred year roof on it. Yeah. It's just gonna be a, a good enough, good enough for that house type of thing. And good enough for us. And then we can get moving on the inside and move forward with our life and everything else that we want to do. So I guess that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.